If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical, technical analysis breakdown for AT&T with the ticker symbol T. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only. It does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. Here we have the daily chart for AT&T and it looks like it's on the rise uh, pretty much since uh, you could even say December of last year or more specifically um, the end of March, early April. We started seeing a, a nice uptrend formation. So we did continue higher for a few months before it looks like we're starting to pull back um, at the top of this channel. It looks like we came up short. Um, on this side of the channel, which shows signs of weakness for the bulls, was so leading to a breakout, which we are already seeing on the, this side of the channel. Uh, so what we could do is pull back a little bit more and maybe get a bounce up to retest this previous high or even exceed it. Uh, if we don't do that pattern, there is a high chance of falling all the way back down to fill in this gap right here and even test these prior lows. Uh, we did have a measured move target that was reached. You can see that this was the first leg up. And then this was the second leg up and right at the tip of this arrow we even surpassed it just a little bit you can see that prices are starting to stall out and pull back now this pullback doesn't look like a um, crash or a um, strong downtrend it's just a looks like a small little correction so it could turn into more continuation which i'm expecting uh, because um, the uptrend this is the first break of an uptrend and um Usually we go back up to retest the previous high and even exceed it. So I don't think this uh, up move is over. But again, um, we can't ignore the fact that there is resistance on the left side of the chart. You can see if I scroll to the left side and I put a horizontal line right here, uh, you can see that this was a uh, strong support which has turned into resistance, which we just broke. It was resistance here in the past. We just broke it. it. Looks like we're coming back and find some type of support. Now, if you find some type of support, we're going to continue higher. Now, if we break below it and found resistance, uh, like we did back here, we're going to probably continue lower. So it's all up to uh, the bulls on what they want to do. They want do they want to defend um, these price levels and continue higher, or they're going to just give up and let these aggressive sellers to uh, bring the market down. So my bet is probably continuation, uh, probably a retest of these highs and even exceeding it. Now, if we don't do that, we probably can do the opposite, which is going back down and filling this gap and retest these prior lows. So that's everything I see on the daily chart. We can wrap this up on the weekly chart. And here we have the weekly chart for AT&T, which has been in a downtrend since pretty much 2016, July of 2016. So again, this is probably not a good buy and hold stock. As of right now, it just does not look like it. Um, you can see if you've been holding since um, 2008, 2009, um, you're pretty much break even. So we're pretty much back at these low price levels. Even in 02, uh, if you never sold, pretty much break even. But it looks like you did probably benefit from the dividends yield. But the best thing to do is get um, a dividend stock that's at least in a um, temporary uptrend where you can benefit from the capital appreciation and the dividends. So right now, uh, we could be seeing a one to two year swing to the upside for at t and I'll show you guys why. Uh, you can see this is the uh, trend that looks like at t is respecting. Um, we got rejected a few times over here. If I drag this down, this looks like the potential support side of the channel. And you can see the midline is acting as both support and resistance. So that's why I believe um, prices are respecting this, especially it looks like this is the slow or weak downtrend that we are inside of. So since we are at the low side of the channel, uh, we could get continuation to at least this midline right here and even probably even the high side. I don't know if uh, 18th is that bullish just yet. That could take um, several years to get up here. But as right now, you can see that I'm going to put the horizontal line back on where I believe this support was, which is right over here. You can see that we got support right here. We bounced. We bounced again here. We bounced again here. And then prices broke it came back up, found resistance, and then we bounced again from support. Now we broke through that resistance level and we're pulling back to test it. If this test holds, we're probably gonna continue higher. 
and I can think we can reach back up to that $24 level. So I think we can see a multi-year uptrend formation. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but it does look like the chart is due for a bigger um, pullback. Now we did have two legs down and that's also right where we bounced. You can see this was the first leg down and then this was the second leg down. And right where we reached the arrow, that's where we started finding support and sellers cannot bring the market down further than that. So right around the $17 level was the lows of this um, several year um, bear market. But looks like we just got a bounce. Uh, we had two legs up which could end the correction. But since we just broke the support and we're pulling back, it needs to hold. And then most likely we're probably going to continue higher. So there's some positive signs for at and uh, in this negative uh, market. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what it eventually wants to do. Uh, you can see it's pretty much a range bound stock uh, from this century. So it's been since 2001. Uh, we've been kind of just going sideways. It uh, looks like the highs are right around that $32 level. And the lows are right around this... Um, 15 16 dollar level so it looks like we're just going back and forth inside this range since we're at the low side of the range uh, and the low side of this channel uh, we could be seeing at least a nice maybe one to two year swing to the upside uh, but give you guys an update if anything else changes but that's what i see on the chart thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to d deliver great content to you guys. See you next time, and bye.